Hi guys, I'm Jesse at strobepro.com and today I'm showing you another brand new product just released by Strobepro and this is our LED Easy Up product kit. Um, like I said, brand new, super portable. You can see how thin this thing is. I've got the backgrounds taken out of it right now, um, but I'm gonna show you everything that comes with this. So in your kit, you're gonna get the softbox itself, which has LEDs built right into it. In the front pocket here, we've got our power connection, which we'll show you how to put on in a second. And then this kit is gonna come with four different vinyl backgrounds. Um, and these create a seamless background, so you don't have to worry about any type of editing in these photos. The background is nice and smooth, and it gives you that kind of infinity look. So you're gonna have four colors here, um, this kind of yellowish color. We've got black, uh, medium gray, and white. And then the last thing you're going to get is actually a soft uh, diffusion panel which will attach to the softbox. So let's unpack this guy right here and take a look at how it's set up. So guys this product is really designed for people who are on the go. Um, so a lot of food photographers that go into restaurants, you know, they're plating food they need to get going right away. It's super portable. It's also great for people who shoot products. So if you're selling something on Amazon or eBay, they have very strict rules about uh, having pure white backgrounds. And this just makes it super simple to do really, really fast. Um, let's set this up now. So you've got the carrying handle. This whole thing is basically self-contained. All we're gonna do, open up the flap right here. This is going to drop down. And you're gonna know what's the top because you've got a cable coming out of it which is connecting the LEDs and we'll attach that in a second. So all we need to do, put it on a table, lift straight up and you can see through here and this is all just Velcro, so really simple. And then we're just gonna take each panel. So again, we've got the LEDs up on the top here. Grab that panel, bring it out to the back here and we're just going to Velcro it. And then if we come around to the front, same thing, we just grab this other panel. It's coming out and you can see right here, all the edges are Velcroed. And so you're just touching them together, which seals up the box on three sides on this one. And you'll be able to tell once you turn the light on if you actually missed like bringing the Velcro close together. Um, but it's as simple as that. And then we've got the front right there. And where we're gonna shoot is when we open this up, we can shoot right through the middle. Or we've also got a top opening up here if we can see it. So we can shoot directly down on our product like that. And you'll notice that all of the panels are silver. So these top panels and then on the inside is all silver as well. This just basically acts as a beautiful reflection uh, panel here. So uh, really nice to light all aspects of your product. Now we need to put in a background and I'll show you how to do that right now. Okay, so to put the background in, once we've got the box assembled, we're just gonna open up the top here. And again, it's just all Velcroed, so just lift up the top you can fold that over for right now and then we're going to open up the front as well just to give us some access now we're going to put in the white backdrop on the backdrop you're going to see two velcro tabs on one end and what those are going to do is attach right up to the velcro on the back in the corner so all we're doing drop that in Velcro those two tabs on the top and then you can take the front here and just drop it under this flap and we're just gonna move this around for a sec till it forms up and then close this guy back up and again once we turn the light on we'll make sure we've closed all those gaps properly and then close it up now we're just going to open up the front right here this just opens up you can fold over the velcro and just 
stick it on right there. And you can do the same to the bottom if you want as well, or you can just let it hang there. When we're working on a table, I like to just fold this guy under so it sits like that. So to connect the power, we just need to connect the LEDs and our parts for that are in this pouch attached to the box. So we're gonna have our transformer block and then the actual power switch. So for the transformer, all we're doing is taking the end, plug it in there, simple as that. The other end is gonna plug into our uh, power source in the wall. And then this part just connects right to the box like to turn it off and on, we've just got a toggle switch to flip back and forth. So really straightforward and simple. I'll get this plugged into the wall and we'll take a look. Okay guys, I wanna show you just how easy this is to take a photo uh, using the product box here. So I'm just gonna take one of our speed lights. This is an X60 speed light. I'm just gonna drop it in there somewhere where I think it's gonna be good. We don't wanna push it too far to the back. And now I'm just gonna throw on the light and you might be looking a little overexposed in the camera right now, but that's okay. We haven't balanced it to the, to the uh, cameras. Um, but you can see right away the beautiful light that you're getting on that without even touching it right now. Now, if you need to control shadows, like if you're getting a shadow or something up on here, that's what these panels are for. So you would close them down because they're silver, they're gonna reflect the light everywhere so we can you know, bring those in as we need them. For this product, I don't really need it too much. And for the video, I'm just gonna leave this down. So if you don't have a whole bunch of camera gear and everything, this box is all you need. You can take your iPhone or any kind of camera really, throw it on there and just come in and basically take a picture of that. So all I'm doing, I'm just gonna zoom in on my camera. And if you actually tap to focus, it might screw up the white balance or the uh, brightness a little bit on your phone. So you can adjust that as you go. But I haven't set anything here and I'm just gonna come in, take a photo right there. You know, if I want to adjust it, I can just take a photo and we'll show you those. So it's super simple to do it that way. Now, the other cool thing, I want to take a top view of this product. So without changing anything in there, I'm just gonna close this up on the front. These are gonna come down. Okay guys, so to take the top shot, we're just going to open the viewing port here. I'm gonna fold that back down and just stick the Velcro right there so it stays out of the way. And again, just using the iPhone, I'm just coming in here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit tap on here to get my focus and take the shot. Simple as that, done, easy, move on, next product. Beautiful thing about that, I didn't have to reposition the actual product, just come to the top port so it stays in position. So in post, you can easily align all of your images so that they're in the same position too. So guys, I wanted to show you one more feature of the product box. It comes with a diffusion panel and we use that diffusion panel when we're dealing with harsh reflections or you just want to soften the light down even more. Now, shooting something like this uh, modeling lamp is usually a nasty thing to shoot because it's glass, you're getting reflections all over the place, and it just creates some real problems. So I want to show you kind of a before and after. So I'm just going to drop this in here right now and put it sideways so kind of just lay in there, okay? And so right now we can kind of see we're getting reflections all over and I'm just again gonna use the iPhone here and we'll just take a quick photo of it and so we can compare the results. So I'm just zooming in, I can see already, I don't like this photo because there's reflections all over the place. So you can take a look at that photo on screen, but now what I'm gonna do is add in the diffusion panel to show you what a difference that makes. Your product box is gonna have this diffusion panel. To install it, we're just gonna open the top here. Just find a corner and pop the top. 
I'm gonna leave the light on just to show you. This has been running about 20 minutes and you can see I'm putting, ah, no, I'm just kidding. It's, it runs a little bit warm, but it's not hot at all. So you don't have to worry about uh, burning yourself or that. Flip that guy open. And on here we've got Velcro tabs. And those, we'll bring the camera up. There's four Velcro tabs on here. So we've got one, and then over just behind right here too. And then on the other side, the same ones. So we just bring this guy in, Velcro the tab on. And this only fits one way and I can see that I just put it in the wrong way because I got a bunch of slack there. So I just need to go this way. And then you'll be able to tell because this is fairly tight there. And just on the other side, exact same thing. And what we've done now is essentially just created a big soft box. Now you can't shoot overhead with this in, but we can shoot through the front, which is what we need to do anyways. And right away, we're going to see on here when we bring this in that a bunch of those reflections that I was just dealing with are immediately gone. So I'm going to take another couple shots with the phone here. And again, if I need to control more reflection, I can bring this panel up because this basically works as a reflector, the nice silver on there, but I'll leave it down just the way it was so we can uh, compare the results directly. And again, the photo, just bring in here, zoom, and I can control the brightness later if I want, but all I'm doing just Take that shot and I can tell right away all of those reflections that we just had are completely eliminated. So that's a really easy way to get rid of reflection on glass, metal, if you shoot wine bottles or jewelry, um, you'll definitely want to take advantage of that diffusion panel. Guys, I just put the black backdrop in the box here. Uh, it took about two seconds. Um, just to show you, like I'm shooting a black speed light on the black backdrop, which can normally be difficult to do um, if you're not lighting it with strobes or multiple speed lights. Um, here, I'm just gonna take another picture with the iPhone. I'm gonna bring this diffuser up, and what that's gonna do is just provide a little bit of light in here. So I can bring that guy up, and I'm just gonna shoot straight down on this one, just for effect, basically. So if I tap on there to focus, and I'm just gonna take this shot. Now what you can do in post on these, if you want it to be a pure black or something, just bring your, uh, your black levels down and you can play with the contrast a little bit. But really as simple as that, um, pop in the other backdrops and you can play around. This makes it really easy for cutting and stuff as well if you're planning to use these photos on your website in uh, different banner ads and that kind of stuff too. Okay, so to pack this thing up, super easy. Let's close the front diffusion or the front panels here. Those will just Velcro into place. Then we need to make sure our cables are disconnected. So disconnect there. And then we've got our other cables. We'll put those in the pocket. So you can fold those up nicely, just like I did right there. <laughs> Drop them in there. And now we are just going to start folding this guy up. So Velcro, Velcro, we want to take out our diffusion panel. And then we're going to take out our backdrop. Don't crease these. Um, you get a, a box with them and we don't want to fold that any tighter than that. Cause if you put a crease in this, it's basically no good anymore. So just keep them loose like that. Okay, so we took the backdrop out of there, the diffusion panels out. Now we need to fold up the box. I find it easiest if you work with the pocket here with uh, your cables and stuff, put it on the right hand side of you. So all we need to do, we're going to push in the side panel doesn't matter which one first, and then the back one at the same time, and we're just undoing the Velcro. 
Now that's going to fold down flat, bring it up together. Your cable goes in, fold that down, and we're ready to go. Whether you're just starting out in photography, don't have any lighting equipment and need to take quick product shots, the Stropro LED Easy Up product kit is a fantastic solution for you. We use it at Stropro as well when we just want to shoot small products. Um, often it's a lot quicker than getting the strobes out and it can be a great convenience and time saver. Check this out at stropro.com and until next time, I'm Jesse. Mm -hmm.